This video is about distance versus time graphs. In this distance versus time graph, we have the motion of three different objects. The pink object is moving at a slow and steady pace up until a point where it's stationary for a little while, and we know that because its gradient is zero. Then it starts to move in the opposite direction, moving back to where it's come from because its gradient becomes negative. The green object is actually moving at a faster pace than the pink object because its gradient is steeper. And the blue object is actually accelerating because its gradient is changing over time. It's not the same. The gradient's really important in a distance versus time graph. The slope or gradient on a distance versus time graph tells you how fast the object is going. The steeper the slope, the faster it's going. With these two lines, hopefully you can tell which one has a steeper gradient. It's that one because it's going super fast, whereas this one's only going sidekick fast. If the slope is changing exponentially, like in the blue diagram, then it is accelerating. Here we have another accelerating object, but it's reaching a maximum speed. The gradient is different at these two points. Stay curious.